Today we're going to divide multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. We can use our fact families or multiplication to help us with our division. So if we know that 4 times 7 equals 28, we also know two different division facts. The one we need is 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Once we know this, we can continue the pattern. So if we have a 0 added on to our 4 to make it 10 times greater, we know our answer is going to be 10 times greater, 280. Same th for division. If we have 280 divided by 7, our 280 is 10 times greater than 28, so our answer is also going to be 10 times greater than 4. So 40. So we can continue this pattern. 400 times 7 is 2,800. For division, if we have 2,800 divided by 7, we're going to have 400. So once again, if we have 18 divided by 3, and we know that equals 6, we can use that division fact to help us with greater numbers. So if we know 18 divided by 3 equals 6, we can use this for the second part. There's that 18 divided by 3, and it equals 6. Then we have a 0, because it's 10 times greater, which means the answer will be 10 times greater. If there are two zeros, 18 divided by 3 is still 6, but it's 100 times greater, so it's going to be 600. So now that we've gone over that, here's my first example. I need to complete the pattern. So you have 27 divided by 3, 270 divided by 3, and 2,700 divided by 3. So if you know 27 divided by 3, that first one's easy. If not, you can use multiplication to figure it out. So what times 3 equals 27? I know that's going to be 9. Once you have the first one, the rest are easy. So we have a 0 in our 270, which makes it 10 times greater than 27. So we're going to have a 9 with 0 and 90. And for our third part of the pattern, it has two zeros, so we're going to have that 9 with two zeros, 900. So as we increase by 10 and by 100, our answer increases by 10 and 100. Here's my second example, 2,400 divided by 6. So I can start with 24 divided by 6. If I don't know that, I can use multiplication. What times 6 equals 24? The answer is 4. How many zeros do I have? I have 2, so 2. So the answer is 400. One more, because that was quick. 210 divided by 7 basic fact is 21 divided by 7. If I don't know that, what times 7 equals 21? It's 3 with 1 0. So 30. Okay, now two practice problems for you. First, complete the pattern. And here's your pattern. 16 divided by 2 160 divided by 2, 1,600 divided by 2. Go ahead and pause. 16 divided by 2 is 8, then 80, then 800. Your second and also third example problems, 200, or practice problems, 280 divided by 4, and 1,800 divided by 6. Go ahead and pause. 
Here are your answers. 280 divided by 4 equals 70, and 1,800 divided by 6 equals 300. Now you're ready for three problems you're going to bring to class tomorrow. So the first is to complete the pattern. 35 divided by 5, 350 divided by 5, and 3,500 divided by 5. Problems 2 and 3. Problem 2 is 270 divided by 3. And your last problem, problem 3, is 1,600 divided by 8. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.